In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this application, the West Point Bridge Designer. You start out by going to your Windows icon in the corner. Select All Apps. Scroll down to the Bs. And if you hover over this folder, open it up, you'll find two applications. You want to use the one on the top, the second edition. The one below is for older computers. So don't open that up. Hover over the first icon, right mouse button, more, and pin the application to the taskbar. Mine is already pinned, so it won't let me pin it again. You notice I have my application here pinned to my taskbar. Select the application and open it. A tip of the day will appear, and you can read through these. You could scroll through them or you can close it. You have three options at the main menu. You can create a new bridge design, open a sample, or if you've already started working on your bridge and come back on your second day, you can load your bridge and continue working on your bridge. I'm going to start out by loading a sample. You'll see a selection of bridges. I'm going to open up the first one. You should take a look at some of these others, but I'm going to select the first one, the suspension bridge. Let me introduce you to the menus. This is your tools menu, and you can turn on and off all these menus here at view. Turn off your tools menu. If it's missing, you want to leave this on. It may be located off your screen. Search for it and then drag it onto your screen. And this member list, you could turn it off. Uh, when you're designing, you may want to have it off, but then when you're trying to optimize a bridge, you want to turn it on. So these four icons, this is your joint tool, your member tool, and this is your select tool. Uh, highlight this for right now. Uh, you'll use it most of the time. It'll let you select the individual members. Say if I want to select this one here. You notice it's highlighted, number 25. And if you look over here on your member list, number 25 is listed here. And uh, so this tells you what this member is. So you notice along the top here, it tells you also it's carbon steel. There are different grades of steel. You can go to a high strength steel or a quench and tempered steel. Carbon steel is the least expensive and the quenched tempered steel is the most expensive. The idea is to reduce the cost of your bridge. So you may want to uh, save the more expensive steel for the members that are under the most stress. You have two options. You could either make it a solid bar or a hollow tube. If a member is under compression, a hollow tube will do. If it's under tension, if it's being stretched, you'll want to use the solid bar. That's better. Save the solid bar for members that are under tension. And then you have various sizes and you can either select them or you can uh, just increment up one bigger size or choose a size that's slightly smaller. So all these that I've just discussed are located here on the side. Uh, your member, whether it's high strength steel or a tube, the size, the length, and so forth. And then this area over here tells you whether the, the member is under compression or tension. And you can adjust the widths of these columns here. Right now, we're on the drawing board view. If you want to test your design with animation, select this. And here's your animation, your truck going across the bridge. I'm going to pause it. You notice as the truck is going over the bridge, these colors change. And you could see that uh, red is compression, blue is tension. So these members down here are being stretched. And the darker the color, the the darker blue it is, or the darker red it is, the more, in this case, the more tension it's under and the, and the more likely it is to fail. So 
if I were to, if you notice, the truck is directly over these members here, and they're gray. They're not under extreme amount of stress or tension, of uh, tension or compression, and you might want to consider making these members thinner because they're not they're not under any type of compression here. You think this member would be under compression, but it's not. So that's how you would analyze this. And as your truck moves along, you could see the forces shift under to underneath the truck. And if your truck refuses to go across the bridge, it's because it's too fragile and it will not uh, go over your bridge. Or if you do not get this window at all, it's because your design is way under designed and this window will not even show up. To go back to the drawing board, this is your cost. Click on this and you notice that there are various costs here listed and there's a total cost down here at the bottom, scrolling down. You notice it's $292,000 and that's a a very expensive bridge. You want to get it under 200 to be competitive. I'm going to create a new bridge. At the first menu, just read the design requirements. This is your ravine. This is the river. You're going to be building a bridge that spans the ravine. We're not participating in a contest, so select no. Set your deck elevation. This is your deck and this is it grade. The, the higher the bridge is, the longer it is. If we were to go, say, go down to 12 meters, much lower, the bridge is shorter, but you have to excavate all this soil with bulldozers. And if you come down here and look at your costs, you notice it's $101,000 and that the excavation costs to remove this amount of soil is $54,000. So if you've very quickly escalated the price of your bridge, I'm gonna set this back up to 24 meters, but you can set it wherever you like. You can choose standard abutments or arch abutments. I'm choosing standard. You could add piers. This is a pier, you could change the height of your pier so if you place a pier, of course you have to build it and it costs money, but it will makes it easier to support the center of your bridge. So you could increase the size of the height of your pier or choose no pier. You can use cables to support your bridge and you can add one or two cable anchorages. The anchorage is here and here. I'm going to use no cable anchorages. You can specify the thickness of your deck, the type of concrete being used. The standard strength deck is about uh, 10 inches or 0.23 meters thick. You can also choose a thinner deck, which is lighter, but it uses higher, high strength concrete, which is more expensive. And you can look at the cost differences here. I'm going to choose medium strength concrete and use the thicker deck. Uh, choose two standard trucks, two lanes. We're making our bridge like as is shown here with two lanes where two trucks can pass on the bridge. You could pre-select a truss. I'm going to choose the Warren truss. But you can start out with none and draw yours as you like. Put in your name here. and your student ID here. Read the notes. Select Finish. This is your toolbar. You could turn it off here. And this is your member list and you could turn it on and off here. This is your joint tool and you can use it to place your joints. 
I'm going to fill in my joints. This is my member tool. And I could draw my members either one at a time. Or if you have a long line, you could draw them all at once. I'm going to draw these angled ones. And this is your select tool. And you can select individual members. This is your erase tool. You can use it to erase a joint or a member. I'm going to turn on my member list. Here are the members I've just added. And if I want to select more than one, I could highlight one. You notice that the first one is selected. I could hold my shift key down and select multiple ones. I just have to find them. Or I could point here and it'll tell me where it is on this list. And if I want to, I could select all of them. I could scroll down and select all my members. And I can make them, I can thicken them up. I'm going to run a load test. If you don't get this menu, it's because your bridge is unstable. In this case, it actually, the truck went onto the bridge, but notice that it failed. So I'd have to strengthen it up. I'm going to go back to my drawing board. Notice it tells me where the failures are. I could select them individually or hold my control key and I could select these three and I can thicken them up. I could uh, go to a higher strength steel. I can make them thicker. Uh, one thing you want to notice is that the cost of your bridge already right now is prohibitive. You should be down around 200,000. I'm just showing you this as an example. Notice that the members 16, 17, and 18 here those are the ones I have selected. And you notice that this menu tells you that uh, they were going to fail. The compression is over one. And so, and they're highlighted red. That tells you that it's going to fail. You could look at all your members here. And you notice those were the only three that were causing you a problem. So I'm going to test one more time. And that time it was successful, but still I want to point out again, the cost is prohibitive. We're going to have to lower the price of, of your bridge to be successful. Go back to your drawing board and look at each individual member. If you notice, some of these are under compression and some of them are under tension. And some of them, like this one right here, has uh, sees absolutely zero, zero compression and very little tension and you could probably make these thinner and that would save you some money. The ones that are under a lot of stress, you may want to thicken them up. Change the, the thickness of them to reduce the overall cost of the bridge. Once you're done with your bridge, go to File, Print, choose Adobe PDF, Go to Page Setup, choose Landscape, and Print. Append your initials to the file. Rotate your page. Rotate it to this orientation. Your name should be here and your student ID here. Save it and submit this PDF file to Canvas. Save your file. Append the file name with your initials. Go to your Documents folder where you stored your file. And this is my file, the one I just saved. 
and submit this also to Canvas to complete your assignment.